Huh? Hi, and welcome to Lauren and Katie's tutorial on how to do a slip stitch. This stitch is great for things like invisible seams, hidden hems, putting in bindings, things like that. So, what you need before you get started is material, thread, and a needle. Alright, so let's get started. What you want to do first is load your needle. What you want to do is get a good length of thread, about two forearms lengths, and you want to get your needle. Alright, so you want to take your thread in one hand and your needle in the other with the eye up. The eye's a little hole at the top. And you want to very carefully stick your thread through the eye of the needle and pull it through. Once you're done with that, you let one end of the thread hang about halfway down. At the other end, you put it against the needle, grab it with your hand, wrap it around three times, grab it, and pull it through. And that makes a knot. Alright, now that we've got our needle threaded, let's start with the stitch. What you want to do is take your fabric and fold it over not just one edge, not once, but twice. So you make a little tunnel with your fabric. And then take it in one hand and just needle it with the other. And you're going to come up through the middle of the fabric. Like a really tiny bit of fabric on the other side, like one or two stitches. And go through. And then go right back down, right next to where you came up. And then a little bit farther down, you do the same. A little bit of fabric. And what this does is it creates a really very small stitch. So if you're doing a hemline, you don't really see the stitch. It just looks like it folds naturally in on itself. Take a little bit of fabric through. And back down. And then you just repeat that until you're done with your seam. Alright, so you just finished the last stitch, so now you're going to knot it off. What you do is go right back under where your last stitch is, grab just a little bit of fabric, and put, it, put your needle through just a little bit, like about halfway. You're going to take your thread, wrap it around three times, like you did when you knotted it, and pull it through. And then you're going to cut it off. So that was the slip stitch. Alright, now you need to remember that when you're doing this with actual fabric, you need to use thread that's very similar in color to your fabric. We just used the thre the red thread so that you could see the contrast and you could see what we were doing. Uh, remember you would use this stitch for using a binding, putting in an invisible seam, or a hidden hem. Alright, thanks for watching. You just learned how to slip stitch! I'm sexy and I know it.